Well, it is Sunday morning, and what a St. Patrick's Day weekend we had. Here's a little recap. We started at Momac Brewing with my husband's office, and they had a wonderful bagpipe performance that we really, really enjoyed. I always love to see young children getting in on the action and learning the value of their culture and their music at such a young age. This young man in the green hat I actually taught in kindergarten. And me and Hubs. I made some snacks uh, for his office and my Irishman picked out his own outfit, his Irish sambas, his number three Ireland soccer jersey. Then Saturday night, we hosted some friends in for St. Patrick's Day. I made a drink called a drunken leprechaun, and we had some delicious green-inspired hors d'oeuvres in the form of charcuterie. And we had a lovely, authentic Irish dinner of Guinness beef stew, Colcannon potatoes, and Irish soda muffins. We finished the evening with Irish ginger snaps and Irish coffee. All in all, it was a wonderful weekend. Uh, time to sit back today and recuperate, enjoy the memories and the last little bits of our St. Patrick's Day decor. One of my favorite Irish proverbs, may you never forget what is worth remembering, nor ever remember what is best forgotten. These were some greetings from friends and family, um, and our festive curmudgeon, Blue Boy, who was with us for 21 years, he was the star of our St. Patrick's Day cards this year. I loved these invites that we had um, printed for our gathering last night. And there in the center, you see our O'Connor crest. Have a great St. Patrick's Day weekend.